A lot of news to get to tonight. New guidelines are coming to Rochester transgender and gender fluid students this school year. Tonight, the Rochester School Board approved policy changes to allow these students to access restrooms and play on sports teams that match their gender identity. KIMT News 3's Brandon Coat is joining us live from Kellogg Middle School tonight, where one transgender student he spoke with graduated from Kellogg Middle School. So Brandon, what is his reaction to the new rules? Yeah, Cammie, I spoke with 14-year-old Ash Wartzbaugh. He tells me he's a transgender teen who experienced bullying right inside these walls at Kellogg Middle School. Although he says tonight's approval is a victory for the LGBTQ plus community here in Rochester. It just made me feel like the next day I go to school, it could be something worse. 14-year-old Ward's boss says classmates bullied him for being transgender. In my eighth grade year, I got a lot of stuff thrown at me. Um, I've, of course, been like called slurs. He says making him scared for his life every day when he showed up to school. It was very scary to show up to school knowing that the could escalate more. Wart's boss says these new rules allowing students to enter restrooms and locker rooms that match their gender identity will create a more inclusive environment for all. I feel like it's just an important step for the school board to say, yes, we're supportive of trans people. However, one critique he has is parents being allowed to ask teachers about their students' gender identity or the name they're going by. Coming out is, it takes a lot of courage to do, and it's a very sensitive thing to do. But says he believes it's a breakthrough for the Rochester queer community. Having this policy out there that it's required that you use a kid's preferred pronouns or and even just the message it sends, I think it's all very important. This a proposal was approved by a six to one vote and the only school board member to vote against it was Don Barlow. During the discussion inside the vote, he tried to make a motion to make a big change to it by making it mandatory for staff to inform parents if their child is changing their pronouns or going by a different name. Live in Rochester, Brandon Coat, KIMT News 3. Now, Brandon, going into this tonight, I know we weren't sure how the public was going to show up, if there was going to be anger or a lot of comments on this issue. Issue, but you say that wasn't really the case. Yeah, that wasn't really the case. There were eight speakers tonight, and every single one of them was for it. I mean, there was a few people in the crowd that definitely opposed it, and even one of them even shared me a, a very long letter that they sent to Superintendent Dr. Kent Pickell opposing it and asking them to change course. But overall, it was mainly all for saying yes to these new transgender policies here in Rochester. All right, Brandon, thank you so much. And we do know these guidelines will go into effect this coming school year.